Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so for today's video, we are going to look at the January 2023 paper two, part two. So I would have already done part one where I would have answered questions one to four. So I am now going to answer questions five to seven. All right, so we're gonna look at communication, consumer affairs, and tourism so let's first start out with communication all right i'm going to give some suggested answers if you don't agree with my answers you can share yours in the comment section or if you have alternatives to the answers that i give you can share them in the comment section as well your comments are always welcome as long as they are respectful so we have to be respectful to each other all right so the first question says, the impact of mass media uniting the region. Write an essay on the topic above in which you, one, define the term mass media, state two forms of mass media used in the Caribbean, explain two geographical factors that might interrupt the communication process in the region, and suggest three ways communications technology could help to promote regional integration, and then explain why each way is likely to be successful. All right, so I always tell my students, answer only what the question asks you. Some teachers tell students to put a thesis statement, put a concluding statement, all of that. For me, I tell my students that, that that is not necessary. But the main aim is to listen to your teacher. This is what I suggest to my students. Just answer using paragraphs and indent away from the margin. That's all I tell them for each part. All right, so define the term mass media. Mass media are forms of media that are used to communicate to large groups of people, right? Then now the next part of the question says, state two forms of mass media used in the Caribbean. So there are several forms. You have the internet, you have social media, which is correct now, you have TV, you have newspaper, you have radio. Right, and there are more examples like magazines and so on. Good, next part says, explain two geographical factors that might interrupt the communication process in the region. So geographical factors, that is the location that might interrupt the communication process in the region that is within the Caribbean region or within CARICOM. Understand? All right, so two things would be the internet moving too slow right so that might cause a delay in um the communication process and cause people to get frustrated message can be received slow or probably get lost right another thing is poor reception so the internet might not be moving as fast or not picking up as strong as it's supposed to so videos take long emails take long to be received especially emails with heavy attachment sometimes the processing might not be fast enough might not be heavy enough to transmit it on a fast pace so it takes long and that might cause a delay in communication as well all right next part of the question says such as three ways communications technology could help to promote regional integration three ways communication technology could help to promote regional integration. All right, three ways. And then also it says that you are to explain why each way is likely to be successful. So you should give your way, then now you give a justification for each. So ensure that you state the way that you are justifying when you are making the justification. So for example, if I am suggesting one way in which communications technology could help to promote regional integration if I'm going to say cellular phones, right? Cell phones are becoming increasingly sophisticated and can be used to access the internet, to send and receive email, to undertake internet banking, to obtain e-tickets for air travel and to check in online, all right? My justification now, such case of communication can assist regional integration in regard to such aspects of businesses economics, finance, and disaster response. 
So that is why it is going to be successful because it's going to be helpful. All right. Another way, another communication technology is internet. The internet can promote regional integration by allowing people to access websites of regional newspapers and broadcasters, access government websites in different countries, take part in video conferencing, arrange travel between the different countries, and buy and sell products and services across the region. The possibilities for building a successful internet industry in the region are greatly enhanced when businesses, governments, and specialists are able to work together. So that would be my justification, all right? Another one would be electronic transfers. And we see that this has become very popular, right? Electronic funds transfer involves the transferring of funds from one bank account to another using computer-based systems and networks, right? So this is going to be successful. So for example, if I am purchasing, say, banana chips from Trinidad and Tobago, right? I don't necessarily have to take my money to Trinidad and to be able to purchase it. I can do an electronic transfer from my bank account to the business bank account in Trinidad that I'm buying from. And same day, many times within minutes, that money shows up. So that saves time. So that is why it is likely to be successful if those things are actually used. Let's go now to the consumer affairs question. Avoiding consumer exploitation in an era of globalization. You are being asked to contribute an article to an online magazine based on the topic above. Write an article on the topic in which you want. Define the term consumer. Outline three benefits of globalization to consumers, such as three actions that consumers may take to protect themselves from exploitation, and finally, explain how each action is likely to be successful. So you're going to complete this in the format of writing an article for an online magazine. So you're going to say, dear readers, or dear editor, or something like that. All right? A consumer is a person who uses goods and services to satisfy their needs and wants. Good. Next part says outline three benefits of globalization to consumers. One is that cheaper goods will be available to consumers due to the decrease in the cost of manufacturing. So globalization has caused manufacturing to be way much cheaper. We are being exposed to producers who their operational costs have been cheaper. So that in turn will make the goods will make goods cheaper. For example, China right? Their production cost is low. So the goods coming out of China is cheaper. So if you're running a business, if you don't have that much money, it will be more economically advantageous to purchase things made in China, as long as they are up to good quality and good standard, right? Because you will be paying a cheaper price for it, right? Globalization has also made variety become more popular. So you have a wider variety of goods to actually choose from because of globalization, because you can stay in Jamaica and purchase things from Amazon. You can purchase from Sheen, right? You can purchase from Alibaba, understand? So you have a wide variety to choose from where you actually pur purchase your goods from, right? Another one would be improve health by enabling a more varied and healthier diet. So there is information out there about health and taking good care of your health and a wide range of products and services are available with particularly good health benefits that consumers are now exposed to as a result of globalization. Good. Next part says such as three actions that consumers may take to protect themselves from exploitation. Then now you're going to explain why all each action is likely to be successful. Number one way in which consumers can protect themselves is to be informed, be armed with the information about their rights and also their responsibilities. All right. This is likely to be successful because when consumers know what their rights are, then it is 
less likely for them to be exploited because if there is any advent of exploitation, they will know and know the proper procedures to follow to get redress. Another action that consumer can take to protect themselves from exploitation would be to report um, to report incidents of exploitation and to get redress because it is good to be armed with the information, but if you realize that you are being exploited, it is your responsibility as a consumer to report this exploitation or seek to get redress. Because if these businesses realize that people are not reporting as acts of exploitation, then they will continue to exploit consumers. But if it is being reported and there are severe penalties or there are consequences, then it's going to be less likely for them to continue to exploit consumers. Another action that the consumer can take to protect themselves from exploitation is to shop wisely. There's nothing more powerful than a thrifty consumer, than a thrifty consumer, sorry. So a consumer should seek the best deal when making a purchase, right? Be wary of certain advertisements that make consumers into impulse buying. So shop wise, shop for what you need, right? Shop for the essentials. And if you are going to buy, shop around so that you can get your best, the best price. This is like to be, to be successful because consumers will in turn save money and protect themselves from impulse buying, right? And that's how we wrap up consumer affairs. This paper was pretty easy. All right, let's now go to tourism. Tourism and regional integration. The tourism organization is sponsoring an essay competition on the topic above. You have decided to participate in the competition. Write an essay in which you won. State the difference between international tourism and domestic tourism. All right, so you can give a little background information about tourism, what you know. It's not necessary, but because they ask you for an essay format, just give a sentence or two about tourism. All right, so we're stating the difference between international tourism and domestic tourism. All right, international tourism is where a tourist move from their own country to visit a tourist destination outside of their geographical area. Right? For example, somebody going from Jamaica to London to visit. So they're spending more than 24 hours, but less than a year. While domestic tourism is a person moving within their own country for business, pleasure, leisure. More than 24 hours, but less than a year. That person would be considered a tourist. So that's the difference between international tourist, tourism and domestic tourism. All right, so international is outside of your geographical area, while domestic is within your own country or area. Next part says, describe one tourism product other than sea, sun, and sun offered by the Caribbean countries. Another form of tourism product is ecotourism. This is where persons go to explore the natural environment like trees in the forest caves and so on that's an example of ecotourism we have health tourism where persons travel for health reasons to remedy health reasons for examples for example sorry persons going to dominican republic to do um cosmetic surgery like to do veneers for their teeth right to do the bbls and so on persons going for surgery that is not offered in their country or maybe offered in their country, but it's too expensive. So they go somewhere where it is safe and cheaper. Understand, right? We have agro-tourism. We have cultural tourism, right? Those are other types of tourism products. Next part says, describe two functions of the Caribbean Tourism Organization. All right, so two, two main functions of the Caribbean Tourism Organization. One, is marketing, so marketing of regional tourism destinations and also to carry out research, right? Research in key segments, like in the destinations, right? And also provide customized reports for certain countries, you know, to see what is trending, the areas that are strong, 
and areas that are weak that might need some additional help, right? They do carry out things also like satisfaction surveys from actual tourists. Next part of the question now says, such as three ways in which Caribbean countries may work together to promote tourism in the region and explain why each is likely to be successful. Uh, one way in which, Caribbean in which Caribbean countries may work together to promote tourism in the region is to provide a special rate for regional tourists. So if that is going to be done, then it will encourage more persons to travel within the region because a lot of regional persons right they prefer international tourism so persons in the region would prefer to go to north america or europe you know they'll go to the usa to canada to england for tourism because many persons don't want to go within the region and then sometimes intra travel within the region is very expensive sometimes to travel from say from jamaica to go to barbados is sometimes more expensive from traveling from jamaica to the United States, even though that's a different argument, but give a special rate to regional tourists and to encourage them to travel. And that is why it would be successful because more persons will be inclined to travel because they are going to that destination for a cheap, cheaper rate than international travelers. So more persons will be inclined to, you know, to explore the region. Another thing to promote tourism in the region is to promote sustainability, to pr promote sustainable tourism. This is likely to be successful because if persons develop an understanding of sustainable tourism, then they will be more inclined to practice sustainability so that we or all tourists can enjoy what we have now and also preserve for future generation. Another way that they can promote tourism in the region is to have regional training institutions uh, strengthen what we already have. This is going to be beneficial because these institutions will train potential workers and entrepreneurs to come and enhance the actual tourism product. And that is why it is going to be successful. All right, so if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.